short one, guys. Let's jump right into it because I'm almost at work. But uh, I had some people to talk to before this. But um, yeah, what's well, really hood? Uh, today we're talking about Twitch or YouTube. And I don't remember who asked me this, but Twitch or YouTube? Obviously, I like YouTube. Uh, Twitch. I always have buffering issues on it on my phone. Uh, not always, but a lot. Um, obviously, I like to watch videos, too. So I like how YouTube has both. Um, to be fair, I'm used to YouTube. The interface, everything like that. So it's probably why I like it a little bit more. Uh, I like how when you go into a chat on YouTube, I like how you can see what who's in there. Like, see the past... Uh, so far of the chat and see what they've said so you can kind of see who's in there who say who to say hi to and stuff um but twitch twitch is cool too like i've gotten used to it i just don't go to it as much um and i feel like i don't know i feel like the people that at least i watch on youtube do kind of like overall a better job i feel like on twitch it's a lot harder for me to find a good streamer rather than people that are just kind of talking too much and not playing enough. Or, you know, there's a lot of the speedrunning community on there on Twitch and stuff, and I guess to me it's just boring, you know. Um, I'm not a big fan of watching that stuff. Um, sometimes, it, de it depends. Because don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say I hate Twitch or something like that. Like, I like it too. At the end of the day, I like them both. But if I had to pick one, if we're going, you know, which one is better, I like YouTube better. Um, I thought about trying to stream on Twitch, but then again, it's like, what's the point? But I thought about going back through the classics and replaying games over there. But I feel like, man, I got 20 or 30 of you that show up to my streams regularly on YouTube. Why don't I just do that on YouTube, you know? That's where I'm building. That's where I might as well keep going. Why try to go talk to a bunch of other people or make you guys go over there? It's stupid, you know? It's stupid. So uh, my community post is on there. I can let you guys know what's going on. You know, I, I, can, I do these videos with you. You know where I'm at. You know I'm around. And at any time of the night, I can fucking go live on YouTube and get people. Why would I want to go over to Twitch and just have one or two people? you know, to start out until I did it a lot. I just don't want to do it. Um, I don't really believe in the whole, like, well, Twitch has a better community or YouTube has a better community. I mean, it all depends who you associate yourself around. Uh, both platforms have pieces of garbage on it, you know? Um, it's not that Twitch has all these more hardcore people. That's not true. I watch a lot of safe state casuals over on Twitch. A lot. A lot of people that dabble in games don't really beat anything. They just kind of play the first two or three levels, and then they sit there and they talk to the chat. Uh, one thing I do hate about Twitch so much is all of the crap. It's like basically porn. Uh, it's like video games, playing video games in a hot tub, playing video games in a bikini, all these girls, these e-girls. Uh, that's really annoying, dude. And when I have time to watch... Uh, streams, which is usually late at night, that's what's broadcast on there. That's what they, it's on the front page. That's what they want you to watch because it has all the viewers, which by the way is extremely pathetic for any of you people that watch that stuff. That's very pathetic. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, do what you want to do, but I don't know what you get from that other than, I don't know if you're like jacking off watching that, which is super weird, but whatever. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, just go watch porn. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, anyway, uh, that's that's what I would say about that. I'm almost at work here, so I'm going to have to go. But, uh, yeah, dude. Um, I would say YouTube, but like I said, I'm not trying to fully hate on Twitch. But what I will tell you is what I don't like is I do not like the... Uh, the e-girl stuff. That that I do think is fucking stupid. I do not fucking like that shit. Um, shit's dumb as hell. But, uh, anyway. Other than that, though, it's the same shit, pretty much. 
Um, especially YouTube. YouTube is copying a lot of the Twitch stuff. So YouTube is doing a lot of the, the you know, saving, um, you know, the subs, sharing subs, uh, buying each other subs, the whole join button. You know, they're doing a lot of the the same stuff. You know what I mean? Um, and they're copying it, which is good, though. I mean, there's a lot of things Twitch does right, and YouTube should copy it. I mean, they should. It's good stuff. They do know what they're doing in a lot of things. But, um, but yeah, I, pre I prefer YouTube because I watch videos as well, and I've met all you guys, and I like you guys. And, you know, YouTube, a lot of people think YouTube's just full of toxicity. Well, it, it depends who you put yourself around. You know what I mean? If you're going to sit there and talk to those people and you're going to watch those people's videos and go to those people's streams, well, then, yeah, you're surrounding yourself with it. So, of course it is, you know. But if you surround yourself with good people and talk to good people on the platform and get around the other good people, then, yeah. But, I mean, it is true that there's a lot of people in our community that, well, they've ruined it, basically, compared to where it used to be. That, that could be a whole other video. Uh, that uh, what our community used to be versus what it is now. I mean, it's not even close, you know. Drama community didn't exist at one point. Uh, and then it came along and all these turds got involved in the community, unfortunately. And all they do is come around and try to create problems. And they all stick together. And they all chatter behind closed doors about who should do, you know, hey, who said this and what live stream, who said this at this video and who did this. And then, then what they do is they break off and they start going after people. I had a person come in my live stream the other day to start trying to start trouble and I told him off. And then of course, you know, there was stuff said about me. Of course there was because he went off, he went over to all of his little buddies. And, oh, Mega Dan said this and I'm ass hurt. So now I have to say something. <laughs> so... <laughs> So it's funny. It's funny, though, when you trigger them. <laughs> but lately, I've just been keeping it real with people. <laughs> I don't try to be all super-duper nice anymore. You know, if, if somebody deserves it, I just give it to them. But um, <laughs> anyway, better hear from me than somebody else, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, that's why I don't think the communities matter, though, going back to the point of this video. Um, you know, you can get toxicity wherever you go. It's just, you can get toxicity anywhere in life. Who do you put yourself around? You know, it's, everything's a, your life is a product of your association of who you spend time with, who you, who you talk to. Um, if you spend time around those people too much or at all, it turns into a bad thing. You're going to start acting like them. You're going to start doing things like them. You're going to start being around their problems. You know, hang around drug addicts, you're probably going to start doing drugs, right? Hang around alcoholics, you're probably gonna start drinking, right? You know, maybe maybe you don't drink, but you start going to the bar all the time because you're hanging out with this dude that does all the time. And then guess what? You're an alcoholic now. You know, so that's that's what it, it's no different than than like YouTube with oh I fucking spend time over at this dude's videos or uh, this guy's live streams, and now I'm acting like him or whatever. You know, um, it's the same shit. Same shit, man. So you got to be careful about that stuff, man. Yeah, limit your time with those people or don't talk to those people at all. You know? So that's what I'll say about that. But, uh, yeah, man. I go team YouTube, but both are good. That's, that's like the final, that's the final choice. But good question. Good stuff. And uh, we're going to get back to Alien Trilogy here real soon. I just didn't have enough time yesterday. I got home and had to walk the dog and all this stuff. Had stuff to do. And uh, then I played some WWE 2K. And it was a lot of fun. That season will be coming up soon, guys. WWE 2K 23. Million Dollar Man. I did a match before I came into work today. And it was Andre the Giant and Ted DiBiase. Versus Hulk Hogan and Macho Man. And it was freaking awesome. We kicked their fucking ass. Obviously, I whooped the Mega Powers' ass. Had to be Million Dollar Man. I put Macho Man to sleep. 
he got whooped, dude. It was bad. And then he, so he was getting his, he was getting his ass whipped. So what happened is it started out with Hogan. Hogan came in the match first. Hogan versus Andre. Didn't last long at all. He goes and tags in fucking Macho Man. Macho Man's just getting his ass beat by Andre. Just just getting killed. And then I, I, I get Ted DiBiase in there. Kicking his fucking ass. I mean, we wouldn't let him tag or nothing. I kept him in the corner. Just fucking up Macho Man. Just getting whooped. Put him in the Million Dollar Dream. Uh, he used his little reversal thing. His, his ability to get out of it automatically. Which was fine because once he uses it, he can't use it again. So I, I, do, I did that on purpose. And so I went ahead and I let him tag. I was like, yeah, get Hogan's bitch ass in here. So then fucking Hogan got tagged. Hogan got two specials done to him immediately by Andre, dude. Just got whooped. He got stunned and everything. It was bad. Goes and tags in Macho Man again. And Macho Man's hurt as fuck, dude. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, tag in Macho. Fine with me. So I fucking put an end to that match really quick. Put him in the million dollar dream. Done. Hogan couldn't even break it up in time because he, he tapped out so quick. It was awesome. Dumbass Hogan. Macho Man needed his, needed his help. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. God bless. Here's Josh.